Alan Maldonado is best known for his roles in Blackish, Survivor's Remorse, and TBS's The Last OG. He's not only a talented actor, director, and writer, he's also a cutting edge entrepreneur with his new created app called Everybody Digital. The Everybody Digital app was created to promote short films and filmmakers to give them an organized platform and showcase their hard work from their writing, shooting, and completing films. Being of black and Puerto Rican descent, Alan expressed an interest in activating community engagement with people of color who were interested in filmmaking. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Alan Maldonado and you are watching Chat and Chew. All right, well we here with Alan Maldonado while he's on break on yes, the sir. set of The Last OG. Yeah, man, appreciate it. Cousin Bobby, we yeah. all got a Cousin Bobby, don't <laughs> Yes, we? we do, yes we <laughs> Everybody do. Everybody got a Cousin Bobby. Yes, we do. <laughs> That is that is facts. Oh, okay. Yes. So for those of, of us that haven't seen the show, uh -huh. the last OG yet. Yes. Um, obviously, it, it relates to someone getting out of jail um, after 15 years. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. and if you think about it, it's, here it is, 2018, and if you go back 15 years, you know, obviously for, for from from a Google perspective, yeah. Gmail wasn't out. No. Nope. YouTube wasn't out. No. Nope. Smartphones were wasn't out. I don't even think we were public. I mean, yeah, yet. internet was barely out. Like right. people didn't, people didn't trust internet. Right, like, people still was like, ah, oh, nah, I would never buy nothing on anything mm -hmm. online or anything. Like it was a lot of, you know, people were very skeptical okay. on the internet in general. That's true. Um, and everything involved with it. Fifteen years ago, man, I remember, you know, us getting the computer, and you know. And we was, you know, around the way, you know, everybody was hustling and yes, all this yeah. other stuff. Was like, yeah, they was selling bootleg Absolutely. DVDs and CDs. <laughs> and I remember one time, me and my boy was like, yeah, we gonna do that. And I'm like, man, we need to burn. Like, we gotta do all that. <laughs> Only to find out like a year later that the computer that I had right. had a burner That's and all, all that. I just didn't know. I just, 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 just ignorant to right. what computers could actually do and at that particular time. And, you know, uh, just to fast forward from there to now and mm -hmm. how technology is advanced in such a rapid pace, it's uh, it's 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 a little scary, yeah. you know, being where we'll be at in 15 years from now. Right. Um, which is is also exciting though. True. So true. So 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 I have a character come out from 15 years ago to uh, deal with all those techni technology techn technological advances. Mm -hmm. To, to finding out that his the, his girlfriend before he was locked up was mm -hmm. pregnant with twins, you know. Okay. He, he's he has a you know there's a new new life, a new world, and a new family True. that he has to adapt to. And she's also married to a white guy. Mm -hmm. So um, the show is is built off. It's a family show. It's built off of uh, uh, him and in, in, in getting a second chance. Okay. And then my character cousin Bobby, he's um, he's sort of an idiot savant. Okay. Um, right. A lot of his ideas <laughs> aren't very good. Uh, most of, pretty much all his ideas uh, aren't really good. But it comes from a place of love absolutely. that he would do anything for his cousin, yeah. and you know that's the lovable quality about yeah. him. And you're, so yeah. you're like the bridge, yeah, to, 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 to new, to yes. everything that's been going yes. on since he's been exactly inside. yes, yeah. yes. So in the spirit of of technology, mm -hmm. and obviously why you know um, why you're here. And, um, how did you get involved in developing your app? You know what? Just like most people get involved with anything that they do out of heartbreak. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. it was an emotional decision. Um, uh, I, I'm a short filmmaker. Mm -hmm. And I had a short film that got me um, incredible reviews. Uh, okay. We got in several film festivals, won a couple of awards. And right just was a great ride. Cool. And then after our 12 to 15 month you know, festival run, mm -hmm. You just fall off a cliff. Like, it's gone. It's yeah. gone. There's no real distribution right. for it, and there's there's people that you know that have short films on their platforms, but they're not featured. They're like mm -hmm. at the bottom of the list. Right. You got to go through eight thousand categories yeah. till you finally get the short film. So, um, from that heartbreak, I wanted to create a platform that celebrates uh, short films, but okay. also elevates the genre and the, and creates an industry cool. for short films because. Anybody that's made a short film knows when they make a short film, it's like taking a stack of money and throwing it in the fireplace. You're not getting that yeah, money I back. Yeah, figured it that way. But yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. they're getting I, that I, money I'm, back. I'm shot. I'm shot a few films. Yeah, but it's, it's, like you said, it's you go in wild, knowing so. that it's a this is a, this is a loss. Yeah. This is an investment, rather. Right. Um, and 
every other genre has evolved from mm -hmm. you know television to film yeah. and commercials. Yeah. Even now, social media, there's this is a billion dollar industry and short films have kind of been left behind. So okay. I wanted to create a platform to elevate the genre as well as these incredible filmmakers and giving them a concentrated platform for short films that could be cool and you know a really a dope place for people to want to be a part of and that's what everybody digital is that is cool now, obviously we met about six months ago yeah at soul fest yeah and you were talking about everybody digital yeah the, the app mm -hmm. um so how has it progressed even since early in the year yeah i mean uh, we've been we've been getting a, a ton of ton of um filmmakers okay. contributing to uh the platform as we curate we curate our films um and for all the filmmakers out there if you want your film to be a part of it go to everybodydigital.com and you can upload your film right on the, our website for free free submissions and um we've been getting a lot of filmmakers that's been really uh participating in the app and we're actually re, uh, releasing a new version of the app later this year okay. um, with a new layout. Uh, our one minute page will look similar to like Instagram. Okay. Um, we're gonna incorporate uh, 3D and virtual reality oh. in our second version. So we're looking to elevate just uh, the way our customers and are able to consume mm -hmm. the material and the content. Um, so we're looking to just drive that more and then also collaborating with a lot of great uh, companies like we okay. collaborated with NBC mm -hmm. in their short film festival. Okay, uh, let's do a festival in, in, at Google. Let's do a film festival deal. at Google. Deal. Look, look, <laughs> I got you. Deal. Let's deal. deal. Let's, let's do, do it at Google. Let's, let's do, do it. Film like fest that's at Google. Let's do it. Like okay. that's what we. I really want to elevate uh, the short film genre by by bridging the gap between the film festival attendees mm -hmm. and the average consumer. Cool. Because. There's, there's so many people that go to AMC and watch television shows mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that have no clue what film festivals are. Absolutely. And there's a, 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 a group of people that love short films, and I want to be able to bridge that gap between these two because with the attention spans getting shorter and shorter and shorter, short mm -hmm. films is, is the perfect fit to right. complement what people are, uh, people lifestyle now. People Absolutely. are on the go. Yep. And that's something that we really cater to on our app is our categories are broke down in time. Okay. One minute, two, uh, one minute, five minute, 10 minute, 20 minute oh, categories. Right okay. So if you, if you're in, in between something like <laughs> most of us are. ADD, right? <laughs> exactly. You're like, I got 10 minutes. Right. Oh, let me find something. And then you go in, you see our comedy animated, et cetera, et cetera. So cool. we're looking to really cater to people on the go. We built this app specifically for mobile mobile use. Okay. So it kind of resonates with the question I was going to ask. Like, you know, yeah. how, how are you, you know, kind of tying in like, you know, technology and things like that, you know, with the filmmaking and Obviously, you know, with the short films, shorter films or short shorts, I guess they're called. Yeah, yeah. Um, because I guess, you know, the, the, the better the quality, you know, of course, you know, got people using drones and, yeah. you know, everything else. Like one, back in the day, you had to use this huge $5,000 jib crane. Wow. You know, yeah. what, what, can a, what can a short filmmaker do, you know, with a, you know, obviously you can't put that in your backyard. It's so, it's so much easier now. Yeah. I got to have a conversation with a, a friend of mine, um, another, another director, as far as how the the game has changed yeah. with technology we remember when getting a final cut our software was like five to eight thousand dollars but now you can get in your phone for right. 35 dollars right. and you could do stuff on your phone with filters that took you eight hours on mm -hmm. photoshop to do mm -hmm. 10 15 years ago um so in making a short film it's it's a lot easier. Yeah. It's a lot easier with technology. People are making short films with their phones, yeah, you know? Yeah, true. Um, and being able to to light and the cameras are just more uh, sensitive. Mm -hmm. You know, better sensors. Um, technology is really allowing a lot of creatives to create at an affordable yeah. uh, price, being that years ago you had to you have to really spend a lot of money yeah. to make a film. Like now, I compare that to the to the microwave DJs. I call them microwave DJs. You know. Yeah, yeah. You people know, from Serato, vinyl. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. All that you, stuff. It's easy to scratch yeah. and do all of that <laughs> stuff now. Like it, 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 we was we when we my friend was talking about. It, we was like, yeah, we sound old, man. We said we was talking about dumping in real time. <laughs> like yeah, we had like yeah, all right. of these things. Right. Like these young kids would never no even experience. No you know. So that's what. Technology is really allow creatives to really be able to create. Next time on Chat and Chew with Big Kev. It's simple, it's simple as that. And a lot of these kids 
um, don't even know these jobs exist. Yeah. Because what's celebrated is the stuff that may be on television and, and music and mm -hmm. all these athletes. Those are the things that are celebrated. Sure. But for the young kid in the projects, he's not going to see, shout out to my boy Ali Gates, um, he's not going to see Ali, who's okay. an app developer, who's selling, you know, uh, and, and developing apps at a high level. He's okay. not going to see him and be like, oh, he looks and talks and dresses just like me. Right. Yeah, this, this, come on, like, come on, you got chicken and waffles next, yeah, like, yeah, yo. Yeah, nah, I ain't messing with Chilling you. Oreos is on the way. Chilling <laughs> Oreos is on the way, y'all. <laughs> y'all Oreo cows is crazy. 